Hello, Digital Stampers. This is Carrie Metzger of www.thestampinggrounds.com. And today I'm answering one of the questions I got on my My Digital, Digital Studio webpage regarding how to adjust an image that is in one particular size of template to use for a different size template. So her question was, this is from Tammy, I would like to use the front cover template for the recipe compilation by the way, and put it onto the cover of a five and a half by six and a half inch portrait calendar. Any ideas on how to do that? Uh, absolutely, it's pretty simple actually. Uh, I'm using a Mac just so that you know, so you'll have to translate this for um, personal computers that don't use uh, the Mac software, so uh, however you open your image editing programs, that's what you'll do yourself. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to start out by going into your photo book, and you're going to open up that board book, designer, and we're going to find that compilation of recipes, um, there it is, designer templates, start with that. Now we're only going to deal with the first page, so just to make our computers run faster, click on the second picture there, and then scroll all the way to the end, press shift, and then click on the last picture and it will select all of them. We're going to take all those away, so click remove. Go to next, we're going to pick and click, so click next, um, let it choose the title, and click finish. Okay, and this gives us our album. Now, <clears throat> couldn't be any simpler. What we're going to go to right away is share project. You can't see this, but oops, I need to click on it actually. Uh, you can't see it in your, your screen, but I'm clicking on share project. And I'm going down to export to JPEG. Click next. You're going to obviously pick the only page possible. Click next. Choose large. You're going to try and get as many pixels as possible and increase this to 100%. Click, click on next and then put it wherever you want to put it. So I'm going to put it in my documents folder, that's fine. Click next and then finish. Okay, it's been successfully written so we're clicking OK. Now in a Mac I'm going to open up my preview pane. This is where I don't know how you do it in IBM but basically you're going to open up that JPEG image you just created. So I'm going to go to File, Open and I believe that was my project 14 was the name of that. Oh, there it is, my project 14. Click open. And there's the image that we just took. You're going to just draw yourself a little box around the image part that you want to save. And then again, you can't see this part on my video here, but you can go to um, tools and then down to crop. Okay, now that we've got this cropped, it just pops up like this, and all you have to do is click on Save. Oops, click on it first. Click Save. Oops, and then now it's going to well, actually save it as something a little bit more interesting. Let's save it as um, uh, Compilation Pick. Okay, now we're going to go back to My Digital Studio, and inside here we're going to Go to File, New Project, and open up that calendar and the easel. And we're going to create our own. Uh, <clears throat> and that's going to bring us up with a blank calendar. <coughs> and all you're going to do is go to Pictures, Browse, open up where you kept. You put that particular folder. And so here it is for me. And I'm just going to drag it over, and sure enough, there is my project picture. And I can even resize it a bit if I want to. And that's how you do it. I hope that helps you out and that you get lots of uh, other ideas on how you can change some of our designer templates to match other projects. Have a great day.